I'm, I'm going to explain uh, a problem of all rectangular parallelopiped which have sides parallel to the coordinate planes and which are inscribed in a ellipsoid. An equation for ellipsoid is given. Determine the dimensions of the parallelopiped which has the largest possible volume. So here they are saying that there is a rectangular parallelopiped and this rectangular parallelopiped is inscribed in a ellipsoid. Okay. They are asked us to find the dimensions of the parallelopiped and also using that dimension at the end of the problem we are finding the volume of the parallelopiped. So let's see how we are finding. Let the dime in the first line you are writing the dimensions of the parallel pipette. Let the dimensions of the parallel pipette. What's the mean? What's mean by that? You are considering its dimensions like this. Okay. Now using that dimensions by the formula of volume of the parallel pipette, you are writing 2x into 2y into 2z. That is parallel pipette looks similar to the cuboid. So the cuboid volume of the cuboid formula is L into B into breadth, breadth sorry L into breadth into height right so here you, this uh, this is also written in that format similar to that form that format okay so 2x into 2y into 2z so from this you get 8xyz so you are taking this volume of parallel pipe at this value as a function this problem okay so it is denoted as v of x comma y comma z is equal to 8 x comma y sorry 8 x y z so here let the condition of the ellipsoid this is denoted as pi or taken as pi of x comma y comma z here so let pi of x comma y comma z is equal to this value so you are defining another function that is capital f of x comma y comma z is equal to this v of x comma y comma z plus one Lagrange is multiplier that is lambda into pi of this value. So here substitute all the values you get this. After that consider dou f by dou x equal to 0. Now what you are going to do is your intention is to find x, y, z values. Okay. For that first you consider dou f by dou x equal to 0. It means the function this function is partially differentiated with respect to x right differentiate that and put equal to 0 okay by doing the that is consider dou f by dou x equal to 0 from this dou f by dou x value is this is equal to 0 from this find the value of minus lambda by 4 similarly do for dou f by dou y is equal to 0 and dou f by dou z is equal to 0 and you will get uh, values like this minus lambda by 4 is equal to this minus lambda by 4 is equal to this okay so everything is the uh, all these three values are the values of all these three are the values of minus lambda by 4 am I right so here uh, we are writing, we are equating everything because every all the three values are equal to minus lambda by 4. So, you are equating. Now, dividing the numerator, okay, dividing numerator by x, y, z. So, you get this value. This can be written as, just write, this is written, the reciprocal of these values, right? This is the reciprocal of these values after that uh, consider the condition given condition write that this can be written as x square by a square because here you have x square by a square equal to y square by b square is equal to z square by c square so instead of x square by a square you can put y square by b square or z square by b square because all are same right that is how you got that so what you are doing is here the constraint value is, values becomes like this x square by a square in the place of y square by b square you are putting x square by a square in the place of z square by c square you are putting again x square by a square the reason is because all the three values are equal right 
in the previous steps you have done like that so that is why you are writing here like this now adding all these three you get this 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 finally you are getting x equal to a by root 3 similarly we put we get, we can find the y value and z value that is uh, instead of uh, putting x square by a square you can put uh, similarly you can put y square by b square plus y square by b square plus y square by for all the three values for the for all the three terms you can put y square by b square y square by b square y square by b square so at that time you get y equal to b by root 3 and for z you get c by root 3 so substituting x y z in the volume formula you are going to get this value and this is the volume of the given parallel pipette so this is how the problem comes to an end.